Hi everybody and happy Tuesday. I have a great book to read to you to celebrate Halloween, which happens on Saturday. This book is Click Clack Boo. It's written by Dorian Cronin and Betsy Lewin. It's published by Simon & Schuster and we want to thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. So let's find out what this book is all about. Click Clack Boo, A Tricky Treat. Farmer Brown does not like Halloween. He doesn't like it. Who out there does like Halloween? Witches give him nightmares. Pirates give him shivers. Jack-o'-lanterns flicker spooky shadows on the wall. Did anyone out there carve pumpkins to make some jack-o'-lanterns? I'd love to see them. Farmer Brown leaves a bowl of candy on the porch. He puts up a do not disturb sign. He draws the shades and locks the doors. But he did leave candy, so that was pretty nice, wasn't it? But in the barn, the Halloween party has just begun. And the sign says prizes. And it says most candy eaten, scariest boo, loudest scream, best costume. And look, we've got ghosts and skeletons. Look at that, we've got some witches. I mean, how silly is that? The cow is dressed up as a skeleton. That's pretty funny, isn't it? There is a crunch, crunch, crunching as the mice scurry across the field. And look, they look like they're dressed up as fairies or princesses. There is a creak, creak, creaking as the sheep slowly push open the barn door. And what are the sheep dressed as? The sheep look like they're dressed as witches. And that's pretty silly too. There is a tap, tap, tapping and the cows go to the window to let the cats in. Look, even the cats are in on this. The cats look like they're dressed as bats. And I mean, come on, cats and bats rhyme, don't they? Farmer Brown does not like the sounds of Halloween night. He checks the lock on the door. He peeks through the window. He's peeking through the window. There is a dark creature standing beneath the trees. Farmer Brown runs to his room, pulls on his pajamas, and climbs under the covers. He does not like this. And what do you think that is? Hmm. Let's keep reading to find out. He hears the crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading toward the house. He's going to the house. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old boards of the front porch. <gasps> Farmer Brown looks scared, doesn't he? Then a tap, tap, tapping on the front door. It looks like they're putting a note on the door. And we know that these silly farm animals love to leave him notes, don't they? Farmer Brown pulls up his covers. He pulls them up tight. He hears a quack, quack, quackle in the crisp night air. Now wait, quack? Hmm. Quackle? Farmer Brown jumps out of bed. The porch is empty. The candy bowl is gone. They got the candy. There is a new note on Farmer Brown's door. Halloween party at the barn. Farmer Brown runs to the barn. And let's see what he'll see. There is a creak, creak, creaking on the old boards of the front porch and a crunch, crunch, crunching of leafy footsteps heading toward the barn. And if anyone can see, he's got stars and moons on his jammies. Those are pretty cool, aren't they? There is a tap, tap, tapping on the window. 
And it looks like these animals are having a lot of fun at their Halloween party, doesn't it? Best costume. And what is the duck dressed as? Do you know what that is? It looks like he's dressed up like a vampire. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. The end. I would love to know what you think of this story. So definitely let us know on our Instagram page. And if you've got any fun plans for Halloween on Saturday, I'd love to hear what they are too. I will be back on Thursday and I have two stories to read to you. And one of them is one of my most favorite books. It's called Creepy Carrots. So tune in on Thursday and I will see you in just a few days. Bye now.